this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine 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 I'm gonna let it shine 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 from the divine creator God shine from the divine creator God creator God look up look up he is the light our delight he is the light our delight the electricity you will see you will see the electricity you will see you will see the principles to his love the principles to his love divine 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 from above divine 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 from above this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine 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 this little light of mine when Jesus says to share fruit share your fruit when Jesus says to share fruit share your fruit fruity toot it's gonna be good for you it's gonna be good for you so nourishing so nourishing nourish to help you flourish nourish to help you flourish your fruits not better than mine and my fruits not better than yours because it's the smuggest board of fruit it's the platter of fruit the variety the uniqueness some like peaches some like bananas sharing fruit it makes a better life it makes a better life shine 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 jesus is our vine shine 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 jesus is our vine sometimes the trees need pruning sometimes the trees need pruning and the great vine and the great vine we prune our trees we prune our vine for better light to come on in and bring us growth we prune our vines we prune our trees to better feel the breeze for growth for sunlight for delight for delight it's better than bitterness it's better than bitterness There's better than this. There's better than this. There is more, more, more. There is more, more, more. Don't be bitter, just be better. Don't be bitter, just be better. Divine, divine, divine. Gotta let him in, gotta let him in. Divine, divine, divine. We, sh we fall short of his glory daily because we are in the flesh. Battle of the flesh and the spirit, Romans 8. Battle of the flesh and the spirit, Romans 8. That's why God says to discern the spirits because we are all battled. So yes, our loved ones and yes, our friends and yes, <clears throat> our church family. We are all still battled daily. 
the word says it so so discern 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 because we all have different spirits speaking through us at one stage it was the Spirit of God at another stage we thought it was the Spirit of God but actually it wasn't edifying it wasn't encouraging it wasn't bearing good news discern 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 we soon learn we learn we learn and that's why we bear each other's burdens and that's why we're patient with each other that's why we're persevering with each other we draw on God to help us with all these things because in the flesh we're defensive in the flesh it hurts in the flesh we're in denial in the flesh we get uncomfortable we're frustrated rejection for redirection for God's priorities in our frustrations for God's priorities in our frustrations the winds of adversity to bring revelation the winds of adversity to bring revelation 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 God's timing love is patient and love is kind his word says not to judge by appearances let the judgment be his rebuke and love when you see another fall backsliding turning their back on the plow turning their back on the plow love is patient love is kind discern 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 we soon learn we soon learn we soon learn discern the spirits discern the voices some will come through as junk mail because we fall into the flesh we fall into the need, we fall into insecurity, we fall into demand, the expectation, the manipulation, the critiquing, we fall into religious spirits. We are battled by the voices. What voice do we feed? For freedom, what are we letting settle in the nest on our heads? For freedom, what are we letting, what are we allowing, what are we enabling to settle on the nest on our heads? The eye is on the sparrow. The eye is on the sparrow. The path to true life and eternity is narrow. The path to true life and eternity is narrow do not be fooled do not be deceived by enticement by trickery that's how this mess all started to humanity and existence because that enticement it's like anything like instant gratification like a star sign that says this and promises that but then there's a letdown and then there's the striving and the weariness and the frustration the letdowns there's got to be better than this there is more there is more there is more to explore his word is a treasure box his word is a treasure box divine 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 let him shine divine 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 let him shine let him shine giving it all to him all of it being real you already are worthy he already says to bring your prayers and your petitions. Bring it all to him. Don't let your frustrations be your division. 
from getting the best potential that he has for you because he's in you because he's in you and it's not about material things having a relationship with him being able to talk to him about anything and everything being real that is the privilege that is the blessing there are times where I've said my prayers my petitions I've been exhausted and I've been confused well God is not a God of confusion but in my flesh because of my expectations my, my desire for smooth riding and then um, things things um, tend to be present which I didn't expect when things present themselves just keep asking God and tuning in and saying what is this about what has been presented here what do you want me to do here what are you prompting me here and if I don't feel equipped Lord equip me Lord prepare me Lord help me Lord rescue me it is that continual dog on man relationship the loyal dog that's always hanging around dog God created dog that loyalty that togetherness that connection that journey that growth that intimacy that realness and when people speak volumes bigger than you can comprehend even though God's bigger than we can comprehend just press into him and ask him to help you to understand press into him I am the questions you are the answers God I am the questions you are the answers God just be real about anything and everything and ask him to speak to you on your level of understanding he will help you to open open and broaden your mind to his thinking to his divine and through him growing you eventually you'll see what he was showing you and through him growing you eventually you'll see what he was showing you so let him shine in you let him shine in you it's that relationship it's abiding in him and him abiding in you that flows through you naturally that flows through you naturally with him and from him regardless of the noises around you regardless of the stares regardless of the whispers once you get in sync with your creator once you get in sync with his holy spirit once you get in sync with his love once you get in sync with his identity in you and what he says about you once you get in sync with his truth I mean has anyone come up to you and made an effort to get to know you and hear your voice isn't that the love of God isn't that the compassion of God isn't that the nature of God 
He is bigger than your fears. What he hears is bigger than your fears. Nothing can hold him back. When you're secure in Christ, you're forthcoming, you are loving, you are gentle. There might be a voice that's divided you and others. There might be a voice that's divided you and others. Perceptions negative stories for self glories that again is falling into the flesh but do not be deceived and do not be put off be stronger than that because God is in you and what you do is you listen for the fruit you listen for the choirs of the heavens you listen for the orchestra the melodies of his good news, of his truth. Because that is what the bride of Christ Jesus, our Saviour, represents. He replaces that voice that divides he replaces that voice full of lies. He replaces it with the greatest gift that is love. With the greatest gift that is the truth of Jesus. With the greatest security that knows how to discern that knows how to distinguish, that knows how to soldier through the Red Sea that is parted and not be wavered, and not be wavered. That knows how to walk through the noise, the accusations, the usual worldly ways and dynamics and assignments of the enemy, the stench of the negative, to get to you and to embrace you <laughs> because they carry the kingdom of heaven in them, because they carry the security of Jesus steadfast strong because they carry the melody and the song of amazing grace because they carry treasure that they have been equipped with they've been seasoned they carry the salt they carry the salt that cleanses out the assaults. They carry the salt that cleanses out the insults. They carry the salt, the lamp and light of God because they are seasoned with the tablet written on their hearts, the word of God Jesus, sanctification, good news. Thank you, Jesus. We know what salt does. It enhances. It brings flavor. Thank you, Jesus, that you are color. Colorful, colorful, Jesus. God created the rainbow of promise. Even in the miry clay, even in the obstacles, even in the ugly things, even in the hindrances. Otherwise, what are we training for? We're not a museum. 
We are a hospital of healers. We're not a museum. We are a hospital of healers, of teachers, of encouragers and edifiers, of outreach and breakthrough, of good news, of comfort, examples of the anchor of Jesus that we hold dear to in our walk from day to day as we pray, as we pray. The devil is such a liar and a cheat. He muddies and blurs the perceptions of one another to underestimate God's children. That's why it's nothing about them without them. That is true love. It's nothing about them without them. That is true love. When we say to be transparent, it's not us and them. It's all of us. All of us. It's not the usual competitive for glory situation. That's the world. That is the mess that got us here in the first place. It is the respect. It is the asking brave questions in love and encouragement and good news. We'll never be perfect in this life. Spirits of critique are from the enemy. Jesus came to bring salvation, not condemnation. only way to perfection is progression in this life by practicing the fruits of the Spirit. We are all challenged, Romans 8, the fruits of the Spirit. of the Spirit. Praying for one another. Praising. Practicing the meditation in our hearts our minds, sharing, declaring, love is patient, love is kind, beautiful things come out of patience, beautiful things come out of culturing. Being established and equipped in Jesus is the foundation. A personal relationship. A personal relationship. And when we learn to wear, invite, 
this Holy Spirit into us. And people say, oh, Holy Spirit's with me every day. I don't need to invite him in. But we are in a battle of many spirits. His word says it so. Principalities of darkness. Discern, discern, discern the spirits. Holy Spirit. Manifestation. Humbling. Gentle. Patient, loving, wise. We cannot be wise in our own eyes because still we are fools, to, we get it wrong. We shall be corrected as Job was. We shall be corrected. And, and being corrected is a humbling experience, is a pruning experience. He chastises those he loves. He does not shame us. We're created in love, not punishment. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, 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 shine the divine, shine the divine, shine the divine. Love is the answer, love is the answer, love is the greatest gift, love is the greatest gift he'll give you lift when you look up look to the light look to the light he'll give you the greatest lift he'll give you the greatest lift he'll break the spare in atmosphere your prayers your prayers People raised to the divine in our praise. People raised to the divine in our praise. People raised to the divine in our praise. Plans and purposes are for you, not against you. His plans and purposes are for you and not against you. He knows you more than anyone. He knows you more. He knows you more. Better than any voice. Better than anyone's choice. Better than any voice. Better than anyone's choice. Just call on him, David did. In his Psalms. Just call on him, David did, in his psalms. He will cherish you in his arms. He will cherish you in his arms. So let the divine shine. Let the divine shine. Let him shine in you and from you. Renewing our mind, renewing our mind, restoring our souls, restoring our souls, replenishment, replenishment. He's our refreshment, he's our refreshment. Flowing rivers, flowing waters, flowing rivers, flowing waters. Let him break the ice, the tension, oil on the knots, the conflicts. Whatever is coming from this melody, 
It isn't from me, the flesh. It isn't from a composed life. It is from the utterances of the soul of observances of experiences, of hindrances, of instances. This is the cry of my soul to share, to share the significance of prayer, to share, to share the significance of prayer that he hears and he cares and he dares to bring shift into those places clearing the restrictions God is your overcomer. Let God be the voice in your vessel. Do not tire of bringing your petitions to him. Do not let anyone tell you not to bother him. Because his word says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Do not be consumed by the clutter and the chatter that surrounds you. Unique design. You will connect. You will connect. You will be in sync. with his family for you as he is your first and foremost anchor as we reach serve and influence it's first knowing who we are in Jesus Christ it's not performing the expectation of religion and striving to save others because Jesus has already brought salvation but it's in that relationship and guidance of the Holy Spirit and unforced rhythms of grace and his healing and in the journey that he is in you, the test, the trials the overcomes let him be your voice and your vessel and when you feel dismissed or squashed 
or shoved aside. Those are just lies of pride. Those are just lies of pride that bring divide. When there's the jealousies and the bitternesses around you, remember to keep pressing into what God says about you. And that cannot be with an ego that cannot be elated and conceited. by the world's patterns and labels and titles and achievements. Achievements are great, but they do not say who we are to the core. They, do they reflect the achievements that Jesus has installed in you and from you in good cheer and good news and cherishing and contributing to the plans and purposes he has for the bride who awaits him who prepares us to be ready at any minute regardless regardless of our gains and our wins the best investment and asset is the victory that has been won which is Jesus you and him him and you as one Oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in. May we glorify God in all we do, in all we utter, even amongst the rubble. May we glorify him. Whether it's in ministry outreach, whether it's in the foundation and structure of upholding the bride of Christ, the Temple of Jerusalem, the hospital for the broken, the hospital for the lost, the hospital for the deceived, the hospital for the poisoned, the hospital for those in toxicity, the hospital for those in bondage and captivity. Or whether it is your one-to-one -one relationships wherever whatever it is your relationship and connection with Jesus in you the truth the life the light and the way wherever you go don't be manipulated by the hell speakers because only God has the keys to heaven and hell. Only God has the keys to death. Although, listen to the good news bearers, the shepherd, the shepherd that leads its flock as we are all in the priesthood of Jerusalem. As we all are followers of Jesus and bearers of his good news. Do not be isolated in religion and religious works. Do not enable junk mail to be spoken over you. Do 
do not be manipulated by the demands of religious works as well. Serving the glories of man rather than the glory of God. Serving the glories of man rather than the glories of God. Forgive each other, pray for each other. Bring your petitions to him in your frustrations. And do not slander the bride of Christ. And get more than one opinion, praying to God for the best appropriate sources of truth, of encouragement, of edification, of wise counsel. Do not despise the doctors, God says. Do not despise good counsel, the wise counsel. And bring it to God. Bring it to God. God is not a God of confusion. Ask him for a surpassing peace of all understanding. His perfect and sound love. There's no nonsense Bible in Jesus' name.